And good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's a Telesen magnetic uh, mount neck strap, and that's all that comes in the packaging. Let's open it up and have a bit of a look at it. Nothing in there. And uh, that's it. So it's got an adjustable neck on it. So you should be able to, oh yeah, we can pull that in and out. That's handy. That's, that is quite strong. And I went for a wide one. There's quite a few different types of magnetics uh, mounts available. I went for a wider one. Um, I've got the little DJI and that's got a magnetic mount as well. But they tend to be fairly small so it moves around a bit in your shirt. So I thought having a wider um, base might actually keep the cameras a little bit more steady. So we'll find out uh, shortly. Actually while we're here I might as well pull that off and I'll grab this little DJI. I wonder if that would mount on it. Does that? Oh it does too. <laughs> Not very good that way but it does. It's <laughs> Yep, interesting. Okay, so it, yeah, not the not the best, <laughs> but it does mount. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just curious. So there's uh, there's your answer. If you got one of these and you're thinking you can put your mount <laughs> for the DJI, yeah, not the best. It doesn't really work. It's not not designed for it. So don't bother keep your magnetic mount with the DJI. Uh, what this mount is uh, going to be used for is my little uh, Insta360 and we'll set that up shortly with uh, the GoPro mount and uh, see how she goes. Come back in a tick. Now I've fitted the mount. This is for the Insta360 1R camera so it just snaps in position and you can tilt it up and down, lock it in position to wherever you want it. And of course it should <laughs> mount solid onto this. Okay, how does it go that way? And that is... Yeah, that is quite strong. That's not going to fall off, which is great. And of course we've got to take it outside and uh, put it to the test. And do some footage with it and see what it's like. Find out shortly, won't we? There's a few ways to mount the actual and neck mount itself you can have the um, connector down the bottom well that's fine if you have a, a connect you know like the GoPro mount and you try and put your camera sort of mounted up high like that that'll sit in there okay if you turn the mount upside down and put the camera down that way it's more secure if you have it the other way, facing up the top, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit top heavy, so it tends to sort of pull down a bit when you're walking, so it's not really the best. Now I've got the camera mounted, and uh, we'll turn it on. And what I'll do, I'll go for a quick walk. And, uh, well, we'll see what the recording's like, won't we? Hopefully it'll come out okay. And this is the most secure uh, way you can put it, it seems to be very stable on the chest, so let's go for a walk and find out. Now I've got the mount so that it's fully extended, the camera to the bottom. This would be a good test to see what the volume is like for recording while we're riding. Quite windy at the moment. One thing I learnt the hard way, if you've got an external wireless microphone, keep it away from the magnetic plate, otherwise you're going to get interference. It took me a while to realise what was going on. I thought the uh, wireless mic itself was playing up, but no, it's perfect. It's the magnetic plate interfering with it, so bear that in mind. It's probably something you're never going to have to worry about because most people don't have an external mic next to their little camera like so. Now. Having the mount the way I've got it like this gives you the best footage. You've seen the video shots of me riding on the bike. You've seen me walk uh, up the street. And, you know, not too bad. Pretty good results. I haven't done any POV shots with the hands, but you've got the idea. It's very secure for that. One thing you have to bear in mind, it does swing. So 
to get the actual um, camera perfectly flat on your body, you need to tape it in or strap it, which is not ideal. But, you know, perhaps you've got a, a different use for the camera, you know, for the actual mount. You know, let me know. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate that. Anyway, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter. Hopefully, I'll get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the very best till then. Bye for now.